Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is Divide Fractions and Whole Numbers. So we're starting a new chapter, Chapter 8. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And then you'll go to the 5th grade link at the top. You'll find all your lessons there. Okay, there's our Common Core strand for our teachers. And our question here is, how do we divide a whole number by a fraction and divide a fraction by a whole number? So we'll show a couple of examples how to do that. Here's good old Fred. Uh, Fred walks a two-mile uh, two trail for exercise, and he stops every one-fifth of a mile for a cookie break. How many times does Fred stop for cookies? Okay, that's my kind of walking right there. So we're going to draw a number line from uh, 0 to 2 to represent this two miles right here, and we'll divide that number line into fifths and then label each fifth. All right, so let's draw a number line from 0 to 2 right there, okay? Now we're going to cut them up into fifths, so five equal pieces. So there's one space, two space, three space, four space, five space. So these are fifths. So this would be 0 fifths, this would be 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, this will be 5 fifths, 6 fifths, and, and so on right here, okay? All the way over to, um, this is 9 fifths, so this would be 10 fifths right there, okay? So there they all, uh, all are labeled right there. So we're going to skip count by fifths from 0 to 2 and find 2 divided by 1 fifth because we're, uh, he walks for 2 miles and every fifth of a mile... Uh, he takes a cookie break, so it's 2 divided by 1 fifth. Okay, so how many spaces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10. In fact, this is 10 fifths right there. So uh, there's 10 whole, or 10 1 fifths in the two holes right there. Okay. All right, so, um, so we can use the relationship between multiplication and division to explain and check our solution. So here we have 2 divided by 1 fifth, okay? 2 divided by 1 fifth was 10 right here because there was 10, and so that means 10 times 2 fifths is, or 10 times 1 fifth is equal to 2 right there. So 2 divided by 1 fifth is equal to 10 because 10 times um, uh, our, our divisor is going to give us uh, what our dividend was. Okay, we'll talk more about those fancy names in just a second. So friends, Fred stops for cookies 10 times. Okay, all right, let's try another one here. Here Barney is also going to walk two miles, but he stops every one-third of a mile for a cookie break. So how many times does Barney stop for cookies? Okay, we can do the number line thing again if you want and divide it up into threes. But here on this one, we'll, we'll use fraction strips. So this time uh, we'll model two using two whole fraction strips, and then we'll play Place, uh, enough one-third strips to fit exactly under the two holes okay so there's our two whole fraction strips right there and then we're going to place a bunch of one-thirds underneath that till it gets us up to one-third or two holes right there okay so he's stopping every third of a mile for a cookie break right there so if we add all those up you guys there's going to be here's a one two three and then four five six there's six one-third size pieces in two holes right there okay so good old barney so oh we got to record and check so so this is um this is two holes divided by the one-third so two divided by one-third equals six because six times one-third is the same as two right there there's six one-thirds here that give us two holes right there okay all right so let's answer the question here good old barney stopped six times for his cookie break okay all right, so uh, when we divide a whole number by a fraction, explain how the quotient compares to the dividend, okay? So here, let's uh, review here. So the quotient is our answer when we divide, and what we're dividing from is called our divisor right here, and so the other piece is called the dividend right there. That's how I remember The quotient is the answer, and then what we divide with is uh, called the divisor, so this is the dividend. So it says... Um, uh, when we divide a whole number, so here we're dividing a whole number by a fraction, how does the quotient here compare to the dividend, okay? Can you see a relationship with this quotient and this dividend right here? This dividend of 2 and a quotient of 6? It's 2 times 3. It's 2 times that denominator right there. So the quotient is the product of the fraction's denominator. So here's the fraction's denominator, 3, and the dividend right there, okay? So 2 times 3 equals 6. All right, here's the next one. Explain how knowing the number of fifths in 1 could help us find the number of fifths in 2. Well, if we knew how many fifths were in 1, there's 5 of them. We just double that because 2 is double 1 right there. So we just double uh, how many fifths are in 1. So if it said uh, in how many fifths are in 3, we'd just triple that, multiply it by 3. 
Okay, so describe how we would find 4 divided by 1 fifth. Okay, right here when we did 2 divided by 1 third, the shortcut is we just multiply these two numbers, 2 times 3. So here we'll just multiply 4 times 5. So the shortcut on this is uh, we can just multiply 4 times 5 and we get 20 1 fifths in 4. Okay? All right, and this trick works with unit fractions only. So if that's not a unit fraction where that's one right there, then we got to do something else. And we'll learn about that in a little bit later right now. But when you're dividing by unit fractions, you just multiply the denominator times that whole number right there, and that's your answer right there. Okay, so uh, we can use fraction strips to divide a fraction by a whole number. Okay, so here we're going to divide a fraction by a whole number. So Pebbles shares half of her package of clay equally among her herself and each of two friends. So there's three people, Pebbles and then her two friends right there. And she's only sharing half of her clay. So what fraction of the whole package of clay will each friend get? Okay. So we're going to place um, a half uh, a half inch or a half strip, sorry, fraction strip under the one whole strip to show half the package of clay. Okay. So we're only going to be dealing with this half package of clay because Peb Pebbles is only going to share this half. She's secretly keeping this for herself later right there. And then and then we're going to find fraction strips that all have the same denominators that fit exactly underneath this one half. So can you find a fraction strip that fits underneath this one half? Okay, there's three of them, you guys. Three is half of what, you guys? Three is half of six. So we're going to have to represent it as a half right there. So since three is half of six, then each one of those guys is going to be a one-sixth strip. See, here's one, six, two, six, three, six. This is one half right there. Okay, so each piece is uh, one-sixth of the whole. So each friend will get one-sixth of the whole package of clay. Okay. And then Pebbles gets this extra piece over here. So that's another lesson. Her, the, the one half plus the one sixth right there that she gets. But that's another lesson. So what do the friends get? The friends get uh, one sixth of clay right there. Okay. So when we divide a fraction by a whole number, how does the quotient compare to the dividend? Okay. So in the last example, we had uh, the fraction divided by 3, okay? And then look, it gave us 1 6. Can you see a relationship with this fraction and what we're dividing by right here? We're dividing by that 3 right there. Okay, again, uh, this is the dividend. This is the divisor. This is the quotient right here. So how does the quotient compare to the dividend right here, okay? The quotient um, is this denominator times our divisor right there, okay? So the denominator in the quotient is the product of the divisor and the denominator in the dividend right there, okay? And then um, uh, when we do one-third um, or one-half divided by three, that's the same as one-third of one-half. It's the same. When you divide by three, it's like taking a third of a number right there. And when you take a third of, remember, of means multiply, so one-third of one-half is one-sixth when you'd multiply that. Okay, you guys? All right, you guys. I hope that lesson helps. Take care.